So, hey everyone, I'm just gonna, this is a video showing how to get to Guama, a more consistent method, and there won't be any invisible snipers, like, so you can explore the whole area. So the first thing you have to do, this is before you do anything, you have to be before chapter 5, so, chapter 4, 3, or 2, that's when you can get to Guama. You have to be as Arthur, because otherwise there's invisible snipers after chapter 5, if you try and return, even as John, there's invisible snipers, so, chapter 2, 3, 4 is the first thing. Second thing, you want to come to here on the map. There might be a couple of closer places, but this is the place I know of. You want to go to West Elizabeth, and you want to come to this like little kind of like C, C for cave. I mean, that's kind of how I think, remember it. This little C here. There's gonna be a cave. And basically, what you want to do. Actually, one more thing before I go in the cave. You need a lot of alcohol. So I've got like 99 of everything, but you need a lot of alcohol to be able to get yourself drunk. Um, I'm going to tell you that now before I go into the cave and ruin all your day for me, like, not telling you that. So you want to come to this cave first. Um, then, you want to basically just follow through the cave. There's not much to do, not much else to say here. Follow through the cave. Um, come along this bridge here. And turn left. And what's going to happen is you're going to get to this part of the cave where there's just, like... This let's drop. Now don't drop down here, but instead you want to come close to the edge. Like around here or something. And now you just want to get drunk. Drink a lot of drink. This is going to take me a moment because I've got the wolf's heart trinket. So just drink a lot of drink and eventually you'll get drunk. Um, and that's basically the thing. So I'm just going to quickly get drunk for you and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm about to pass out here. Any moment now, I'm going to pass out from drinking too much. And once you put that, what you, that's what you want. You want to pass out. I think this is the last drink. I should pass out now. No, one more. Okay, so I'll pass out. And you're going to see what's going to happen when I pass out. I'm going to teleport to the top of the cave. And I'll be out the map. Um, first off, you want to check the position of where you are. So I think you have to run west straight away. So you see where I am now. I want to quickly just run forward straight away so I don't get pushed back out the map. That's west. I'm going to slide a little bit. Just trying to slide it into the map. Um, you might want to refill your health core. If it's empty. So, uh, you know. I'll just quickly do that. Uh, there we go. I'll refill, refill my health core. And now, here's the fun part. Well, not really fun. Um, you have to run. I'm going to basically just show this on the map. You have to run all the way from here to down here, basically down below Flatline 8. The only way to do that is to go around New Austin. But the problem with this is that you have to be very careful you don't run into any invisible snipers. So you can come all the way around New Austin, down the bottom, and down to here. I'm going to show you a little thing I usually do. I usually end up going like, you usually want to either go down to here, or all the way straight to here. But, you might want to run down here first, because you can run into like some horses out the map. And that, and the reason that's a good thing is because if you run into any horses out the map, they can make this a lot faster. So you might want to run down just near the edge of the map, just search this area a little bit, just keep running down, and you might find some horses. And anyway, I'm just going to cut to the part where I get down to here, and um, hopefully I'll find a horse. Okay. So I got really lucky here. There's already horses like right next to right. I just stopped a recording, but look how close I am, and I've already found horses. So if you're really lucky, this can happen to you. But first off, I want to check the stats of these horses, like which one's the best one. It might not be worth the risk if they run away, but usually don't run away, so you should be all right. Morgan, and then I think that one's the man. So I want this one. So basically, what you do, the best thing to do is lasso it and calm it, calm it, calm it, calm it, and then mount it. This is, then you have to just break the horse. So just break the horse. That's quite easy. It's not. That's quite self-explanatory. Break the horse. So now the horse is broken. Now, when I recommend when your when your thing's done, you want to run to basically, like I said, you just kind of go all the way around. But you want to basically run to like here where the Sea of Coronado is. I'm gonna I'm gonna run to there. 
One thing I want to mention, though, I might mention this later in the video, you want to keep away from New Austin. If you go too close to New Austin, just invisible knives are going to start shooting at you, and that might kill your horse instantly. So just be careful of that. Stay away from New Austin, and head to, like, down here, and I'll be back when I get there. That's a good girl. So, as you can see, I have kind of reached the location that I need to go to, but as it is very dangerously close to New Austin. So what you have to do is where I put this marker, go a little bit to the side of it. You probably would have found this out yourself if you're getting shot, but <laughs> I would recommend to watch the whole video first. Anyway, you want to come down all the way until you get past this sandy razor so there's, there's no water left. Um, I'll show it in the video anyway, but just I'll keep that in mind. You've got to go like basically down as far as you can, but you want to keep out of the way of the map so you don't get stuck getting sniped. So you want to snipe to quickly pull away. So I'm getting a little bit closer for you guys to see, but as you can see, this like this is what you might run into if you take a good look and get a little bit closer, but not too close. You're gonna see just a little bit of water here, and I think your map might have a little bit explored. Um, my one's already fully explored because I went here in 1.0 and then I've converted the save. But you want to basically come down all the way down to here, like I have, and you want to keep going until you reach. I'm gonna just come off my horse just to show you. So you see how there, it's all like flat land. You want to basically go to there and get up onto those mountains over here. You don't want to be going down here or else you're going to get sniped by the invisible snipers. You want to come all the way around, go up and go around here. And you want to just go east once you hit there. So I'm just going to quickly show what that looks like real quick. I'll cut a little bit out, but this is exactly what it's going to look like. And be careful of this cliff edge here. I actually didn't fully notice this, but... You want to come to the side here. Come, go west, yeah. Go west and just be careful of this cliff edge because I almost fell down there. And uh, that would have been bad. But yeah, just come along the side. And you want to just go, go all the way around until you've reached the... Um, until you've reached that cliff over there. And then I'll show you what to do next. So this is really bad because there's a lot of fog here for some reason. But... You want to basically just come about this far out of the map to you are actually going off the map screen. Like you can see how I'm going like completely off the screen here. That's where you want to go. The map does this really weird thing, but you can see how I'm off the screen. And then now you want to start going east. Um, I can't really see again because of this stupid fog that's just decided to appear. But um, just keep going east, and if there is any fog, just maybe ride a little bit slower. Um, and you should just be completely fine now. You might want to go a little bit more south as well, just in case you start getting sniped again. But um, just go south again. Here, here you go. Here's the cliff. The, off the edge of that cliff, you'll see the rest of New Austin and all that area we just came around by. Again, this like glaring sunlight is awful, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, this is just good for showing you that I actually did get all the way around. It's not too difficult to do. Now you just want to keep heading east, and maybe when this fog clears up, I'll show you another bit. Yeah. Alright, so the fog has cleared up now. Um, you can kind of see, this is basically, I think this is actually Mexico. But of course, since this is Red Dead Redemption 2, they never use Mexico, so it's completely plain. There's nothing here, it's just desert. Anyway, we don't really, really come here to get to Mexico, we came to get to Guama. But this is how you get to Mexico as well. Anyway, so what you want to keep doing now is you want to keep heading east. I'm kind of off the map now, so you can't see too well. But you want to just keep heading east. And just keep going east until you get down to below Flat Iron Lake. And you'll see like this more greeny area. Like my, Here's my cursor. You'll get down to here and there's a lot, lot more gle greeny area. Um, and that's Guama. So once you end the a desert, it's going to be a lot more greener. And then you'll be able to get to Guama. I'll show what that looks like, of course. Then you just keep going east and you should be alright. Um, so here's another thing to point out. You see where... I can't really show you right now. But there's kind of like a really blurry area over there. Try to steer clear of that for now. Because that area of the map um, sometimes is non-solid. And you'll fl flip right through the floor. So keep to the area that's a little bit more textured. Um, high rendered in. And the collision should all be there. Because if you don't... Um, if you venture off too far to the right. It's really blurry over here. That could become non-solid, and you're just going to drop through the floor, and you're going that, that's going to be bad because you're going to end up teleporting back into the main map. So, just avoid going too far um, south, 
and avoid all like the blurry areas and just keep going east until you get there. So here we are. After our very long trip in the desert, all the desert's now behind us and in front of us, green landscapes. These are all guama. All these green landscapes ahead of us are guama. I, I don't know if you just saw of all those hills just unloaded. Um, they're just like trees in the backdrop, so when you're in the main map, you can actually see them. But and there you go, that lag spike there. That's that's the lag spike that spawns all in guama. If I press down now, you can see it. It says guama instead. So now, the last thing we have to do is well, there's two things you can do here. You can either ride off into the water and kill yourself, which is a lot faster, or you can ride around and come all the way and do that. I did that in my other video, I ran to Guama, but for time's sake, you probably want to just jump into the water, take a death. I don't actually know where you find deaths in your stats, but you'll only really lose any pelts on your horse. So if you've only got any anything valuable on your horse or something, make sure you like do whatever you've got to do with that first before you do this, because you know, you're going to die and that could despawn the pelt. Anyway, so now what you want to do is simply just keep running east. And this is where you want to pay attention to the blurry area. I don't know if you just saw this loads of blurry area to the right of me. Just keep running east and run towards the Guama map. And just keep going east. You're going to find some blurry areas. Some of them are, some of them are going to still be solid though, because you know, you're not going to supposed to see them. But once you keep going east, you're actually going to reach this really blurry area, which definitely isn't solid. As you can see there, the ground's luckily ground underneath, but here, here's the blurry area that you want. So you're just going to come east, and you're just going to jump into this blurry area. This is going to kill you, by the way. So you might want to be prepared for this, because this will kill you. This drop will kill you no matter what, because it's water. So I'm just going to jump off here. That loads in all of Guama. I should die. There's the death. And now... You're just going to have to wait to respawn. And I think the way to tell if you've um, not got unlucky, um, there should be like a loading arrow in the bottom right, um, which takes like a lot longer to spawn back into the map. Longer than usual. When this happens, you've probably got it. So just keep going, wait for this to turn day, I guess. And it's going to teleport you straight into Guama. And this is like a much faster method, as you can see. I'm r right in the middle of Guama, like right where you are in the story, as you can see. Agrostyle says like right here. So now all of this area here is fully explorable. There's no invisible snipers. And I'm going to show you a few bits that you can go to that you usually can't. Um, I'll just show them now. So here's one example. I'm running through all these sugarcane fields. Usually you wouldn't be able to get through these. All these fields are completely locked off and you will just get killed by snipers. You just go to all these like towns over here. It's pretty sick actually. I think you can even you can even ride these like goats and donkeys and stuff if you want. Um another thing is is that all these like guards hey friend. you can talk to. Thank you for keeping and he me. actually has lines. We need more like you. Adios for a lot of these guys, um, which kind of hints that there probably was at some point intended, I don't know why that lizard's right there, but at some point the game probably intended you to come here and where where it was not, there was no like bad things happening. Because there's art, there's lines, like unique lines to Guama, like when you're talking to the locals and stuff like this. You, no, 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 lo siento. I hope you're okay, friend. ¿Qué es lo que tú quieres? Not that you understand like what that I'm one. Saying. Like, not yet, you understand what I'm saying. Like, usually you wouldn't be able to hear that anywhere, really. So, Guama, there are unique voice lines, which is pretty crazy. Because you're not ever supposed to come here and talk to people. All these areas are blocked off by snipers. So, there are unique voice lines to Guama. And here's the area you come to in the mission um, where you kill Fusa. Um, there's all this area here, like I said again, you can't get here, usually. Um, you can't come here in the map, it just instantly kills you with those other snipers, but that's not happening. This is all like, completely explorable, no snipers, you can talk to all the guards, and everything. One thing I recommend though, before um, I end this video off, 
do not, I repeat, do not, like, try and kill anyone. Like, don't kill any of the guards. Because what can happen is, if you try and kill any of the guards, um, since this area of the map is never intended for you to, like, really, like, get a bounty or anything, you, you'll get the wanted dead or alive status, and that's going to start get spawning in all the invisible snipers. So, try and avoid getting a wanted level, and if you can, like, just try and not kill anyone. Because you could, if you're very unlucky, spawn in the snipers. And you don't want that, of course. So, before I end off the video, I might as well just come and show you this last bit. Where you can get to Cinco Torres, that, like, massive castle over there. I'm just going to show that now, and then I'll end the video off. So here we are, this is Cinco Torres. Um, Cinco Torres. You can come all the way to here. Usually, like, you wouldn't be able to explore this once again. Um, there would all be just, like, snipers here completely blocking you off from ever getting here. Completely ruining all your exploring experience that you... The limited time you have on this island. Um, there's a little thing you can do. Because usually the door is locked, but if you come up here, this is how you get up here. Um, yeah, this is how you get on top of the Cinco Torres castle. It's pretty cool. Um, you can quite see quite a lot of Guama from up here, actually. It's quite nice, all these hills and stuff. And all those hills you can go into, because there's no snipers. You can just run straight through all the sugarcane fields, and there are no snipers to block you. The only thing you really get off is the water, because the water is like much more scary on the island because of all these waves. But that's pretty much it. Everything else is completely explorable. Um, that's pretty much the video. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe I'll post a couple more of these. I don't know. There's not much I can, not much else to post, but maybe one day I'll think of something else and. Uh, well, this is this is just helpful for you guys, you know, all these all these videos like showing you what to do. This is how you get without snipers. Anyway, that's the end of the video. So I'll see you all later.